good afternoon. We're so glad that you've joined us again today. We're looking forward to spending a little visit with you. Uh, today is National Online Learning Day, and Carter's in his second week, and there's an awful lot of students going online this year, aren't there? There sure are. My, my daughter has to do four kids. No, oh, wow. It's going to be interesting. And, and Jan's probably doing a little She's bit of that, too. She's going to help with it, yeah. She did that last year. Yep. That's terrific. Well, it's changed a lot of people's lives and a lot of uncertain things in the world, but we're just taking one day at a time and doing what comes today. And uh, we're just thankful that God has allowed us to be with you today. I want to draw your attention to Psalm 63. Oh, God, you are my God. I earnestly search for you. My soul thirsts for you. My whole body longs for you in this parched and weary land where there is no water. I have seen you in your sanctuary and gazed upon you in your power and glory. Your unfailing love is better than life itself. How I praise you. I will praise you as long as I live, lifting up my hands to you in prayer. You satisfy me with more than the richest feast. I will praise you with songs of joy. I lie awake thinking about you, meditating on you through the night because you are my helper. I sing for joy in the shadow of your wings. I cling to you, your strong right hand holds me securely. But those plotting to destroy me will come to ruin. They will go down into the depths of the earth. They will die by the sword and become the fool's food of jackals but the king will rejoice in God. All who swear to tell the truth will praise him while liars will be silenced. Oh God, you are my God. Earnestly I search for you. i 
We often re tell our kids that um, there are eyes everywhere at Keswick, um, that if they go out to play or um, that somebody will report back to me if they see something that they're doing they're not supposed to do, and it happens. You know, we, we hear, even with you, people tell me when you sneak a candy bar or something or eat something. Well, you know, we often hear the term El Roy, the God who sees. And often we think about the God as the one who's like watching in order to correct and, and, um, and bring us back and reprove us all the time. The person who's always, you know, condemning or controlling. And, you know, he's the God who sees, but he sees, he cares, he loves us. It's not all about just correcting and it's about loving us and bringing us back in his loving arms to him. And the one thing that we've sung about this morning, even just um, this afternoon, is we've talked about Redeemer being faithful and, and the one that we can lift our eyes to because he's worthy of our praise. He's the God who sees you where you are today. He loves you. You can trust him. You're not alone. Our Redeemer is faithful and true. You can trust him today. As I look back on the road I've traveled, I see so many times he's carried
Yes, that is my all-time Robert and Joyce favorite. That's how we met. I can't, how many years ago was that? 24, 1995, 96. Okay, and that was at uh, Tuscarora Inn for a Christian camping conference. Somebody came up and said, you got to hear this couple there serving at another Bible conference, Montrose Bible Conference. And we just fell in love with Robert and Joyce and their ministry. So thank you for singing that. So today, we have our Hope for Today podcast with Lynn Wilson at 2.30. One more opportunity, if you've not celebrated with us for our 124th anniversary, tomorrow at 10 o'clock, the Merrills will be with us again. We're looking forward to a great time of celebration. You can join us online, but we'd rather have you here on campus. We can do about 100 people. At the end of the concert, you'll get a box lunch to take along with you. You will enjoy Call 1-800-453-7942, or you can register online at www.americaskeswick.org. Announce tomorrow at 1.30. Join us at Facebook Live. God bless.